So here is what's left of my last nail set. I did a horrible job taking this set off. I actually peeled these off, which I 100% do not recommend. But for the rest of these little nuggets here, I'm going to file and then soak off the remaining. And then to get the remainder of that gel extension off my nail, I'm just going to soak a cotton ball in pure acetone and let that sit on my nail. I'm gonna wrap it in some foil. And if you'd like a more in-depth video on how I remove my gel extensions, I do have one of those up on my channel and I'll link it up above so you guys can check that out. Usually when I remove my nails, I just stick my whole hand in a bowl of acetone, but since I only have a few nails left, I'm just doing this method just so it's quicker and I'm not wasting as much product. Now I'll just let this soak for like five to 10 minutes. Now I'm just going to file off any excess glue with this sanding band. This is a medium grit sanding band. I'm going to lower that a little bit because since I'm using this on my natural nails, I don't want it to burn. So I just lowered the speed down to 5. Next, I'm gonna do some quick cuticle care. I'm going to apply my cuticle softener. And then I'm gonna push my cuticles back. Okay, so cuticle care is done. I'm gonna get into the application process starting with applying some bonder and primer. So 
So for this nail set, I'm gonna be using the Natural Stiletto Short Nails from Aprey. These are the short length, but I do feel like they're more on the medium side. These are pretty similar to the medium round nails that I usually use from Aprey. Obviously, they're just a little pointier because they are stiletto shaped instead of round. But I have picked out all of my nail sizes already and I'm going to apply this Gel X Tip Primer on the inside to etch the nails. And now I'm going to use my sanding band and my e-file to file around the cuticle area of all the nail tips. This helps prevent the nail from lifting and also just makes it look a lot more seamless as the nails grow out. So next I'm going to apply a thin layer of this Extend Gel. I'm using the sensitive version of the Extend Gel from Aprey. I like to apply a thin layer on my natural nails. It really helps my nails stay on much longer versus when I don't do this step. So I'm just applying a thin layer and then I'm gonna cure my whole hand for 60 seconds. So now that that's cured, I'm gonna go ahead and start applying my nail tips one by one and I will be flash curing them after I apply every single one. I'm using my little gooseneck lamp. It has a little UV light here and I'll flash cure for like 15, 20 seconds and then at the end, I'll put my whole hand in the big lamp again for 60 seconds. And I'm applying a thin coat of that all over the area that the nail tip is going to sit on my nail. And then once that area is coated, once that's all coated, I like to just scrape the glue right here at the cuticle and it kind of creates a little blob of gel right in the center. And that really helps to make sure I have enough glue on the nail tip to make sure that I don't have any air bubbles when I apply it. My gooseneck lamp right here, I'm gonna turn that on and then I'm going to place this nail extension on my natural nail. Push down gently until the glue pushes towards the tip of my nail. I know you guys probably could not see that, but I'll show you guys again once I do another nail. And I'm just gonna cure that. If you feel any like burning sensation, just remove your finger from the light and then reapply the light again. So right now I can feel that that is pretty secure on there and that was only about 15 seconds. So I'm just doing my thin layer all over the cuticle area. And then I'm scraping it to create a little pocket of glue. And then I'm going to apply this to my nail. I'm going to apply even and slow pressure. Once I see that glue moving towards the tip of my nail, I'm going to put it under the lamp. And I'm just gonna repeat that process until I have all the nails on. All of the nails are now on. Now I'm just going to go in with my e-file and my coarse carbide bit and just scrape away any gel that might have seeped out around the cuticle areas. I'm gonna be very gentle with this and use this on a low speed so that I don't hurt my cuticles. <laughs> So I went ahead and repeated all of those steps on my other hand off camera. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use my sanding band to buff away the shine on all the nails. And then I'm gonna use this little buffer to make sure everything is nice and smooth, especially around the tips of the nail. So 
all of my nails are applied and now it's design time i've been scrolling through pinterest trying to find some inspo i really want to do some sort of spring flower nails i really like this one but it's probably going to take me forever it's super super detailed but i'm thinking of just taking bits and pieces from this into my nail design also i really like the ones that just have it on the outside like the rim of the nail i guess so i don't know what i'm going to do exactly but it's going to be some sort of spring floral look also i have to keep in mind whatever nail art i choose i have to be able to do it with my non-dominant hand as well so i always always consider that whenever i'm choosing what nail art i want to do these little lemons are super cute too but i really just want some florals i could do something simple like this but i really 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 like this one so i'm gonna screenshot that and save it it's actually from the artist her name is audrey faith artistry so if you guys want to check out her work i'm not sure if she has an instagram or anything but i did find this on pinterest so okay first thing i'm going to do is just polish all of my nails with this nude color So I ended up doing two coats of that nude color and that's super pretty, one of my favorite nude polishes. And I think I'm gonna end up doing a French tip on all the nails and then just do two nails, probably my pointer and my ring finger are going to have the flower details on it. So I'm going to use this like peachy color, this peach orange color for all the French tips. And then I'll use a bunch of different colors to do the flower art. So I have all of my French tips done. So we're gonna call this abstract art. It looks cute, I feel like you kinda get the point, but I wish it didn't look as messy as it did. But I just went ahead and did the nail art using my non-dominant hand. So I did my right hand just to see if I could kind of do what I was going for. And I, I think it looks cute, you know, like I said, abstract. I'm still debating if I wanna do my thumb, but before I do my thumb, I'm just gonna go ahead and move on to do this hand. And then at the end, I'll figure out if I wanna actually add a thumb. But to start, I just created these little plant stems using this green color. I actually mixed two green colors. So I'm doing this lighter one, and then I'm going to trace it with a darker one as well. And then I'm just using a darker green on this skinny nail art brush to kind of, I don't know, make this look more veiny. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on my pointer finger. So 
So to create these little florals, all I'm using is this dotting tool. I'm gonna start with the pink one. I want it pink to be the biggest color I had on my nails, so I'm just going over the green. I'm just creating dots over the green leaves, and I'm also gonna mix the pink and yellow to give this some more dimension. It doesn't even really look like my inspo pick, but this is what I've come up with. I'm gonna add another pink one on this side. And now I'm just going to add some smaller purple and blue flowers. I think I'm gonna add like a little one right here in the middle. I think that's good, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure that so that I don't mess it up. So I did end up doing smaller flowers on my thumbnails and now I'm just gonna go ahead and put my top coat on. I'm using this diamond top coat from Gelfully. that top coat for 60 seconds now I'm just going to apply some cuticle oil I am actually in love with how these nails turned out I feel like they look like little pieces of art on my fingertips they came out so good and I'm so happy they did because I've been sitting in this chair since 10 a.m. and it's currently 5 30 I've obviously gotten up to eat I went for a walk with my dog you know, did what I had to do. But the fact that I've been sitting here all day, I'm so proud of myself. These came out so pretty. I'm very, very happy with the end result. Let me know what you think about them in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.